did sit down with Mark Mobius and we asked him specifically what he thinks about the situation in the Gulf. We have a rising anti-Iran rhetoric coming out of Saudi and the U.S., as well as some of the geopolitical incidents we've seen lately in Brazil. Take a listen. Well, as you know, Iran is a very interesting capital market for us and other investors. Unfortunately, Rouhani's uh, uh, election is not going to really change things very much, because, mm. as you know, the, the supreme leader was not enamored with him, was not really in favor of him uh, getting that uh, win. So I don't think uh, you're going to see uh, immediate change in Iran. We're going to have to wait a little longer. Uh, the good news is that uh, with Trump coming here, there may be more unity within the Gulf states. Mm. And uh, uh, the imposition of uh, this value-added tax will bring these countries together in terms of their financial well-being. And uh, so things are looking better in the region in that sense. Let's talk about emerging markets more generally then, because the rally in EM has been really stunning since the U.S. elections. A lot of people thought that wouldn't happen. What's been driving it, and how much further could it go? Well, there are a few things driving it. One is the fact that, you know, the three years before January of 2016, last year, uh, there was terrific underperformance in emerging markets. So you had lots of institutions who were very underweight emerging markets, mm. and they realized that this is not a good thing. Then you had a realization that emerging market currencies had gone down too far, yeah. and they began to recover. So we've seen some dramatic recoveries of these currencies. And in addition, there's a feeling that the U.S. dollar will probably get weaker mm. against the euro and other currencies. And then finally, the emerging market story is still intact. The average growth is double that of, more than double that of the developed countries. The uh, valuations are cheaper than the U.S. market. So all of these put together uh, begin to move people in the right direction towards more emerging markets weight.